Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in a little bit of a different location. I'm at my parents' lake house, and so I have little Lainey sleeping on the couch. Hudson taking a nap, the house is quiet, the house is still, and I thought I would have just a little chat about what's been on my heart, what's been on my mind going into the new year, and something that I'm convicted about and something that I am really like pressing into prayer this year and end with a little bit of encouragement for any women, men, moms, single women, anyone who is going through something similar right now. So the other night, my husband and I were having a talk and I was feeling kind of emotional and he was opening up about how like he's perceived that I am doing but I came to the conclusion that I've been dealing with a little bit of postpartum anxiety. Um, if you've been here, watch any of my videos. I had my son Hudson, he's 19 months old. Postpartum was pretty smooth. Like I tore a lot, so I was in a lot of pain for like a week or two and then dealt with some like excessive postpartum bleeding, had to go in for another whatever, don't need to go into it. But like things were smooth, things were rocking. I heard about the postpartum blues, heard about the anxiety, heard about the depression, and I was completely clear from it and very, very thankful for that. And with Lainey, I didn't really put two and two together um, until the other night, like I mentioned when Trevor and I were talking, that I've just been more worried. And part of me thought, oh, she's a girl. Like part of me just feels like maybe slightly like more protective of her because she's more delicate I don't know she was smaller at birth than he was by like over two pounds smaller so like she's just more delicate more fragile like there's more to worry and when she was two months old she had RSV and then over Christmas at five months old she actually got diagnosed with COVID and those two things did not help all of my feelings because all of those things have given me like reasons like worldly reasons to doubt that she's okay and to start having some worrisome thoughts that have been all consuming to the point where we were watching a movie the other night and like all I could think about was the fact that like my daughter in the other room like is she okay is she gonna wake up from the movie like not bad thoughts about her not anything that's like whoa you need to go see someone but just that like constant is she okay do you think she's sick? Should I take her in? Do you think she's okay? Oh, that seems to be getting worse. Do you think it's COVID? What if it's RSV again? Is she okay? Like, what if she spreads it? And it just like this constant to the point where like, I've been feeling it, you know, when you've been worrying, been anxious, like you feel that heaviness, that weight on your shoulders. And my husband pointed that out in me and it wasn't necessarily fun to hear, but I broke down because I was like, I've been feeling that. I haven't felt like myself and again there's a lot of people out there who have struggled with postpartum depression and my heart goes out to you and I'm very glad that that's not what I've been struggling with but just that heightened sense of anxiety and not being able to fully put my trust in the Lord like I want to and like I should. So even if you are not a mom out there struggling with some anxiety postpartum Everyone struggles with anxiety and worry and fear at some time in their life. And so I just want to end this quick little um, heart to heart with you all with um, just a couple scripture verses to encourage me and hopefully encourage someone out there as well. So um, I have my Bible here. The first one I want to read is from Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. It says, come to me. Now this is Jesus speaking. All who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Miss Lainey decided to wake up and join us for these last couple verses here, but Jesus is saying you will have times when you are feeling overwhelmed, when you are feeling this heavy burden, but like, come to me and I will give you rest. Um, I am an Enneagram one. I am very much, oh wow, good burp. I am very much a productive, let's get things done. Let's groove. Let's check things off that to-do list. And that's great and all. But when that prevents me from physically being able to rest and bring things to the Lord and just sit and be, 
then that's when it can become a problem. And I've been finding that I've been prioritizing doing more than just resting in his presence. And that's got to change this year. The next verse I want to read is Philippians 4, 6, and 7. I feel like 6 is really common, but 7 is also just like so good that we can't forget that it exists. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Verse 7, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Something I want to pray is that peace of mind um, that Jesus says it will guard our hearts and our minds. Like, I want my heart and my mind to be ruled by peace, not ruled by worry or anxiety. And the last verse I want to read to you is John 14, verse 27, and it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. I love the spot that says he gives peace. That's not what the world gives. The world is what makes us feel anxious. The world is what makes us get fearful. Comparison makes us get fearful. Another thing that I have really been um, worrying over lately is, so after having my son, like Lainey is my second, and all I have for frame of reference is my son. And my son rolled over at like six weeks old, which is super early. But what I was finding is that I was comparing Lainey with Hudson. Like she is perfect, she is wonderful, she's not behind, but she hasn't rolled over yet. She wants to, she lays on her side all day, but she hasn't. And I was finding myself finding other people with babies younger than Lainey saying, oh, look what my baby learned. And they're not saying it in a bragging way. But to me, I took that as like a jab that was like, you should worry about her. Do you think she's behind? Do you think something's wrong with her? And it's like, stop. Like if I just trusted in the Lord more, like I, I wouldn't have to fear because I would know that the peace of God surpasses everything else and that he gives what the world doesn't give the world gives fear anxiety worry comparison all these things but christ he gives us peace and he gives us assurance us assurance that everything's going to be okay that he not only loves us but he has the absolute best for us he literally made this child he made her and loves her so much and nothing's wrong. And so I need to let go and let God. I hope that part of this encouraged you because honestly, I needed these scripture verses. If this was for nobody except myself, then I'm so glad that I filmed this because I needed these scriptures and I need to um, this year really like put the scripture, not only my Bible to sit there, but I need this in my heart, in my mind so that it is what I constantly live by. Um, because I want it to be, but life gets in the way and productivity and all these things get in the way of just spending time with him and leaning on him instead of the world. And lastly, if you have a friend out there that is postpartum, it doesn't matter if they're eight, nine, 10, 12 months postpartum, check in on them. Um, for women who struggle with postpartum depression, I've heard now, don't quote me on this, but that the heightened time of that like showing up is four months. You think that like, oh, they got home from the hospital, they seem happy, they're good. Or they just had a baby, how could they be sad? Like sometimes that can't be controlled. And so I would just say for those out there who have a friend that's postpartum, check in on them, see how they're doing, um, not only just physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all that is so needed. So thank you for joining Lainey and I today. And we'll see you next time. Bye.